BWC bosses to face questions from MP. My name is Joker Collapse. World comes to tell you why it did happen. Carlton Collapse to cost taxpayers around 140 and chairman admits why it did happen. Or wire card failure in Lemon Road Collapse. Where are the key figures now? Why did it happen? Eight Deloitte failures. Enron scandal the fall of Wall Street darling. Going concern is an accounting term for a company that is financially stable enough to meet its obligations. Based on that, accountants assume it will continue its business for the foreseeable future. What is foreseeable future? It is usually considered as 12 months. While performing audit, auditors are required to test this assumption whether the company can live for foreseeable future. If not, they have to red flag those areas causing this uncertainty and report it. Many corporate failures point fingers to the auditors about why they did not pick and raise the alarm on time. Auditors already use many measures and indicators to assess it. In this video, we will see how AI can also assist auditors in highlighting going concern. In November 2018, a train carrying 268 wagons of iron ore derailed in Elbra Desert in Western Australia. Iron ore prices rose on the news with the fear that the supply of a resource used in everything from furniture to paper clips could be interrupted. But some traders carefully analyzed satellite images of the accident and saw the iron ore piled in a flat area where it could easily be reloaded they bet that the price would soon decline they were right within a couple of weeks the panic dust had settled and they had made a fortune satellite images provide much more information than a human eye can see this is where ai extract information that we can't see such as infrared satellite images gained initial attraction in stock price predictions counting cars in the retail store parking lot as an indication of business activity and estimating increased decrease in revenue before the management announced it its utility then extended to various finance and business areas business planning investment valuation decisions etc Auditors can gauge the real impact of a disaster on client business faster than to wait for an expert report. There are many sources of satellite data you can use depending on your needs. Some platform will let you view the data in your browser. Some offer download option so you can process it and extract meaningful insights. And there are sources which provide Python APIs. to access images and get insight such as sentinel api business success is driven by its ability to generate revenues which come from its happy customers and clients Customer provide feedback and reviews to express their experiences. These days, people rely on rating and reviews. Spend time reading these feedback even before buying a small value product or services. Each review provide a ground truth of an experience. It is a general observation that these reviews influence buying decisions. Good rating and good reviews likely to buy. 
bad rating and bad reviews make a buyer hesitant to decide or most possibly result in ignoring it in this digital age reviews show the economic reality of a company consistent negative comments and bad ratings impair product or service ability to continue for long we can establish its impact on company's ability to continue as a going concern reading hundreds and thousands of reviews and retaining the information is impractical with the human eye ai natural language processing provides a way to determine the human emotion within the feedback from millions of reviews in just a few minutes and summarize it to get inside emotions such as positivity negativity neutral etc words like good love worst not worthy of money etc are few examples of human expressing negativity or positivity in a review ai pick these words and classify into different emotions categories let's see an example of sentiment analysis i'm using amazon customer review dataset available on kaggle and this is how it looks in excel there are 5000 reviews for 23 products for high level sentiment analysis i use azure machine learning add in in excel to predict if it is a negative positive or neutral comment the add in classifies it based on a score if the score is close to 1 it is a positive comment if it is close to 0 it is a negative and neutral if it score around 0.5 after finding scores and classification for each customer review the next challenge is to summarize it so we can see an overall view of the portfolio of products in each product over time i have used pivot tables and charts to give me more insight into it this pivot table summarized and sorted for all 23 products to quickly see product wise summary of sentiments negative neutral and positive for the past few years i was also interested to see trends in sentiments so i created a product name slicer and a few pivot charts to see the trend i am testing each product to see trends of all three sentiments and whether negativity exceeds positivity in the customer reviews the product name all new fire hd 8 tablet 8 inch hd display wifi 32 gb black received way much negative comments and these two products are also showing the same sentiment imagine if these are your only products how long do you think your business will survive if this trend continues let's deep dive into sentiment analysis using ai to find out what people are saying for the one of the products the actual words that customer used in positive and negative sentiment review maybe that would help us which features they like or dislike after some processing here are unique words that customer used in their reviews the word tv appears two times recommend to likes to here is a tree diagram of these words words such as picture sound listening and streaming gives me impression that these are good features of the product that people like and used it as birthday gifts for mothers and now let's look at negative sentiment words the light used in negative sentiments six times ears looking and last five times let's check the tree diagram words charge last storage suggest a problem with battery in a storage space further word husband gives me the impression that this product is more suitable for women than men it was just a brief overview 
of how AI can help find an issue of a going concern. These examples can be extended to predict future negativity or positivity in customer reviews. And last, let's predict what it would look like in the next 12 months, whether negative comments will be more than positives. What is the possibility that negative comments will be 30, 40 or 50 in the next 12 months? To find these possibilities, I'm using Monte Carlo simulations and I will be using 1 million simulations to help me see the number of comments. Let's run this simulation. This is the graphical representation of 1 million simulations. Let's first check possibility the likelihood of negative comments. Monte Carlo says that there is 83.02% likelihood that there will be one negative comment after 12 months, 76% likelihood of 5, 65% for 10, 53% for 15 and so on. For the positive comments, 98% chances we will have one positive comment. 88% for 5 comments, 50% for 10 and roughly 12% for 15 positive comments. So the possibility of negative comments is higher when it's more than 10 comments. It look like negativity for this product will exceed positivity. And the way I see it for this product is an issue for going concerned.